Welcome back. We have found our way to this uh, mode of transportation, apparently a Manklev car sitting on top of these rails. So, let's see where it takes us. Whee! Oh wow, that hole in the water is big. And we've arrived. Wherever here maybe. Um these vehicle rides in VR, they are awesome. They're also a little bit motion sickness inducing. I'm fairly used to it because I play racing games in VR. Which are strangely not motion sickness inducing at all to me. Um but this Still is a little bit, uh, but uh, not bad enough that I had to turn it off or turn any of the comfort features on. And they're just so awesome to see in VR. This whole game is awesome in VR. I mean, yeah, visiting this in VR was cool. Riven in VR is just something I've wanted to do ever since Riven came out, even though I didn't know about it. wishing to visit the place for real. Hey, we can get a much better view of that uh, other island we just visited from uh, from here with uh, the big tree. We can actually even see its rotating dome. We cannot see whatever was spinning on top of the building. Must be outside of render distance. Uh, even though I have that set to the highest setting. Let's look around here. Rope bridge up there. Another little uh, crack in the rock here, which I wonder if that's always been there or part of these tremors. Uh, we can go to the other side without having to spin the uh, MacLev around. Although, unlike with uh, the original, you can do it and get out on that this side. Doesn't seem to serve any purpose other than to give us more views. There is a big dagger sticking out there. Similar to the big dagger near where we linked in, which is over there. Any big daggers here? Not that I can tell. Or on this island? We'll find out, I suppose. And if you've played the original and think something's missing, yes it is. You can go in here. Nice little pool of water here. Coming through the rock somewhere. And... Totem pole, for lack of a better word. With a bunch of, like, these weird figures around it. Don't know what that signifies. Something to do with the people of... Riven, I would assume. Just based on what we've seen so far, it doesn't look like something Gen would have built. Although these weird metal things here 
kind of looked like a mouse trap or something. They look kind of out of place. There's also this on the front of it, which we can turn. Doesn't seem to have any obvious effect. Probably has to be turned to a particular orientation to have some kind of effect somewhere. But uh, we don't know what that is right now. What's this? A little trough collecting water and a faucet. Can drink some water. Hopefully it's safe to drink. Oh, opening the faucet um, drains the basin so it no longer spills over into the pool. And then it doesn't drain it any further, which doesn't really make any sense. But whatever. Um, I hope this is safe to drink. I could at least wash my hands, I guess. And then it starts spilling again. Neat, but uh, doesn't seem to have any other function. Moving on. We come to a fork in the road. We can go down or we can go up. Let's go down. Not in small part because I went up first in my original Let's Play. I can hear birds. I do not see them. Ooh, speaking of animals. These two creatures um, enjoying the sun on that rock. Kind of laying there, sunning. Sounds like the hare is coming. Don't want to disturb them. I don't know if they're aggressive or anything. It's two different ones. Oh, big yawn. They're just... enjoying the sun over there. You know what? That's a good name for them. I think I'll call them sunners. Oh wow, these things are big. They're two different ones. I wonder if this is a male and a female, or an adult and a calf of some kind. Hi there. Uh oh. Oh, now we've done it. We startled them. No, don't go! Too late. They left. Hmm. Well, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt your sunbathing session. This is a nice beach. Too bad I didn't bring my bathing suit. Go for a little dip in this little uh, pool. It's connected to the ocean. Definitely don't drink this water because I'm pretty sure this would be salt water. Plus, considering all the holes it has, I'm not sure if I trust the water here. Hey. Somebody left a ladder over here. And whatever that is. It's a 
Magnifying glass. Wait. Okay. Doesn't really magnify. It shows us something. Interesting. Wonder what that is for? Oh, it was hooked on two of those daggers that we've been seeing. Paint bucket. I wonder. Actually, we uh, attached the lens thing to our satchel so we can get it out like that. Yeah, it's the paint we're seeing. That's kind of what I thought. Just a little bit of paint there. Up. Oh. oh. And the butterflies, apparently. Well, we can't see them without the glass, but they're white with it. Have you guys been bathing in this paint, or is that just something you... Do you normally look like that? They do like the paint. This goal. Oh! Oh! Alrighty. I guess that's what they were painting with that ladder? Doesn't look like it's tall enough, but... They got up there somehow. What is that? Looks like the game logo. Or partially, anyway. It has a couple of holes in it, and the bottom's missing. Kind of hard to get a good look at it. Would be better if we could get up um, this rock, maybe. Is there a way we can climb up? Instead of using the satchel, you can also press the R key to get it out. This is another thing that's pretty cool to do in VR, because you just hold the thing in your hand and can look through it in a much more natural way than having it uh, fill up most of your screen. Can we climb this rock? No. Don't think so. These butterflies really like this paint. Especially this one. Just will not be scared away by us. And they come straight back. Wait, is there... I can't tell if that's paint or just a reflection of the water. I think it's just a reflection because uh, we can see it even without the lens. I still think that this is... There should be a better way to get a view of this. From on top of this rock, but we can't get there. From that island? Not like we could see this far. We were there. We could see this island with the jungle on it. But... It's pretty small. I mean, we didn't have the... Lens thing yet. Might be worth uh, looking into later though. For now, let's just continue to explore. Is there more to see? That tree over there is kind of lighting up. These palm trees don't. Nothing else here. Really hope I don't end up having to just scour every inch of every island with this thing. Because that would be annoying. I wonder if it's just the butterflies that light up like that or all, if all animals do it. If the sunners were still here, we could uh, try that out, but... They... okay. Apparently, this one rock is just too tall for me to step over. Can't go that way. 
we scared off the sun or so. We can't ch try that. Let's go in here. It's another staircase. Getting a nice calf workout. Hello? Oh! There's someone in there! Pretty faint, but it sounds like some kind of siren, maybe? I mean you no harm. I don't know if he can hear me from down here. Oh well. Hey! It's another one of, uh... These totem poles. Surrounded by... These... Literal stick figures, I guess they are. And another spinny thing. Okay, looks like this island is also not safe from the tremors. I wonder if, like, maybe all of the... Like, spinny things fit together or something, so you have to... Like, align them so that... They make one shape if you were to combine all of them. That would be pretty hard to do, though. Or if it's just a matter of figuring out what direction they have to point. Okay, enough with the tremors. It's like something is getting angry at me for messing with that. There's a tree over here, which, yeah, looks like the flowers in this tree are lighting up. The bulbs, whatever they are, don't. It's only the flowers that are open that are visible through here. The rest of the tree is not. A Nothing else here. can walk around the tree, but that's about it. Looks like there's a... reed pipe or something leading towards the tree from all the way up there at this big building. This tree must have some kind of significance, because it's... A, it's the only tree of its kind we've seen so far. All of the others have been those those palm-like trees. And it seems to be protected somehow. I built this platform towards it, and it has these... curious glowing flowers. This must be some kind of polarizing lens or something... that reveals... Some kind of invisible ink type thing. Doesn't seem impossible. Well, hey, wait a second. There's paint on here. You see it? Do we just... Line it up? I guess we do. Didn't seem to have done anything. Okay, the gods really don't like me getting close to this. Maybe they all need to be lined up properly, so I guess we should head back to the other one to see if it has a similar marking. For now, let's go this way.
big wooden archway. Oh. What? There's... There's a thing there. Like a submarine. Moving under the water. Where is it going? I don't know where it's going. It's going a long way, though. Alright, we're going to lose track of it pretty soon. Oh, I can still kind of see it. And it's gone. As far as I can tell. If you see it, let me know. There's another hole in the water there. That is not how water is meant to work. Um, guess we found a village. The big building we saw seems to be part of it. it seems deserted, though. I guess that guy with his air horn or siren or whatever it was warned everybody that we were coming, and they didn't feel like hanging around. They all flee in that submarine train thing? Who knows? Oh look, it's again symbol again. On this weird platform. Looks like he there's a days there so he can address the village. That's just bizarre. This looks like an oven of some kind. Might be cooking food. Some firewood. Can we... Looks like we can't actually go to the village because they're... Raised the bridge over here. Blocking our path. Where are those balls in the water? Kind of hard to tell from over here. Okay. Sure, why not? Uh, we can go this way. Ooh, there's something bioluminescent under here. Very pretty looking. This seems to be over those tracks that the submarine thing was running on. There's no hole in the water here. Then again, neither is there one over there anymore. Little building. Um, it's a hole in your roof. Guess that's one way to save on your lighting bill. Looks like a classroom. These are those... the script that we've seen in several places that we couldn't read. 
Presumably these are all the letters of that script, but don't exactly help us read them. Some benches. A blackboard. Which is text on there. That we can't read. This blackboard is... Well... It's not empty. I think it was erased, but... Still has some, uh... Stuff visible. It happens to blackboards if you erase them a lot. Needs to be cleaned properly. What's this thing? Or giant metal cage thing with a handle on it. Oh my Terekoi Dani Kibayem Rivat Aroyem Betik Tavom Gabodonagayem. Okay. Again, I presume? Clothing definitely seems to uh, match more what we would expect of uh, Dunny than uh, of one of the natives here. Don't know what he was saying, though, which is kind of annoying. This must be some kind of projector. Does it play anything else? No, it does not. I guess Gen addresses the Rivenese children here. Teaches them to worship him. I don't really like the holographic effect here. It should be a little bit more shimmery. I wonder if the big cage in the temple is similar to this. Maybe it can also display images like this? Just bigger? It does also have like a bowl like that in the bottom. How about the chair then? That doesn't really make sense that that would be an imager. Maybe a place to record or perhaps broadcast? Very good. Interesting. Um, in case you weren't aware, there's actually a uh, person in the Mist community called Riam Plus. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's R I O U M plus sign. Um, who made one of these for real? Of course, he couldn't actually make a holographic viewer, but he made the next closest thing. Where um, what he used is like basically a cylinder in the middle with two uh, screens back to back and a small slit in it that spins really fast the cylinder and then the slit will cause a persistence of vision effect that means that no matter where you stand you can see the movie being played he showed this off at Mysterium last year 2023 in Spokane which was incredibly cool I think you can find the video from the presentation he did online. Um, if I remember, I might also edit in a picture of the thing. I was there, I saw it. It's a really, really cool build. Um, I do actually know what this says. We never learn the Dunny writing in the game. 
The school board, I happen to know what it says. It says the rules of Gen. And then underneath, it says three lines. Gen is our master. Gen created us. Gen defeated Atris. Um, that's not really the impression we got from Atris's journal. He was talking about imprisoning Gen here. That's not much of a defeat, is it? If you know that, you can see that this particular word is Gen, showing up here and also here. I guess this would be Atris then. Um, other than that, not much help in deciphering this. This is an actual language. It's not a substitution cipher or anything simple like that, so even if you figure out all the symbols, and yes, we do know them, it's not... Uh, you can't just easily translate this. You still need to know the words. We know some of them. I don't, but some people do. I know a few words, like Shora. But not very many. And Gen created us, of course, a reference to the fact that Gen believes he creates worlds. Which Atrus does not believe. Which one of them is correct? Still a big debate in the Mist fan community. Personally, I am on the link to existing worlds side of that debate. Nice lamp. Some dunny writing on there, don't know what that says. And what looks like that same animal they were giving offerings to in the temple. From this symbol, I would say it, maybe it looks like a fish of some kind. Not sure. If you've played Uru, you'll recognize how much this looks like the uh, classrooms in Uru that we see in the cavern. Which makes sense, because again, although briefly did grow up uh, in... Uh, in Dunny itself before the fall and probably recreated this classroom to look like the ones from his childhood memories. Uh, what do you have over here? We have a sheet of paper with symbols on it that we do not know. Don't know what these are. Don't know what these are. Except that this one and I guess this one look like the ones we saw in those totem poles. So are these the orientations we need? That doesn't seem to correspond to the the line that was painted on it though. Not really sure. But it seems to be important so let's at least take a picture of it. Looks like these symbols on the right were made with a stamp can see that this stamp has the little wedge shape on this side. And if you walk around it, you can just barely see that it has a round end on this side to make that center dot. And I guess the stamp goes into this case normally. But somebody left it out, leaving the ink pad to dry. It's not very smart. And there's this thing. Looks like a game of hangman of something. <laughs> hey, there's a symbol. Actually, wait a second. That symbol is the one that's in the middle of Gen's symbol. Can we see that here somewhere? Or is this the only place in the whole game where Gen's symbol is not present? You think it would be in the classroom somewhere, but it doesn't look like it. Um, this one's different though. This one has a vertical line rather than a horizontal line. Looks like we can interact with this. Okay. Let's spun this and moved this. 
again, kind of looks like the head of that animal from the temple. And then this dude on the left here dropped five times. And the symbol we have here now is actually the symbol from Gen's Crest. See what else happens. Moves it back. Three, four, five, six, seven. It dropped seven times that time. And we have a different symbol. That one is not on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And a different symbol again. One, two, three? Is that on there? Yeah, that one's on there. One, two. This guy's winning. I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We saw this one before, right? And it was seven then too. Are these numbers? I think these might be numbers. One, two, three. Oh. Well, I was gonna see if that was five, but the guy got eaten, so I guess he didn't win, he lost. Let's try that again. Just once. So that's one, I guess? The vertical line is one. We've seen this one before, it was two. Yeah, these have to be numbers. So the little curve on the left of the box is two. And we saw this one before and it was five. Yep. So the symbol on Gen's crest is the number five. That's kind of weird. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We hadn't seen that one before. It is on the paper here. Well, I guess it means eight. We've seen this one before, it's seven. Did we miss anything? I think we've seen three. We saw nine and eight. I don't think we've seen four or six yet. That's three. I don't know how high this goes. We haven't seen any number higher than nine yet. Speaking of, that's nine. And poor fellow on the right lost this time. This is a weird game. And People being eaten by some animal that may or may not be the same animal that gets worshipped? What message are we send sending our children here? I kind of want to find those missing numbers though. That's three again. It's random chance that so we could be here all day. That's one. Three. Four. We haven't seen that one before, and apparently it is four. Just need six, then. That's two. That's eight. Three. 
That's four again. We could be here a while, guys. Two, three, four. Well, that could be six. We haven't seen it before. It could also be ten. I don't know how high this goes. Not very helpful. It's eight again. I will give this one more game before I'll cheat. Also eight. Going neck and neck this time. Three. <laughs> Three again? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got six. Thank God. That's five. Did we get all of them this time? Just want to finish the game. Two, and the right one lost. That was four again. Okay, there is actually another symbol on here. The game really doesn't want to show it to me for some reason. The symbol for 10 is also on there. And I'm... Okay, one more try. One more spin. No, again one. Just to break the habit. Nah. Okay, it really doesn't want me to do it. Okay, well, if you play this game enough, you will learn n uh, numbers 1 through 10, and here they are. These are uh, all the numbers you can learn through the game. That last one is the, uh, with the little curve at the bottom, is number 10. It is on there, I don't know why it's being so annoying and not showing me that. That's gonna make your life a lot easier if you don't, if a lot harder if you don't realize that that number is on here. But, uh, yeah. You know, I just realized I completely forgot to uh, go back and look at the uh, telescope after I put steam towards it. Oh well. Uh, we can now decipher this, though. So this is the number 8. Corresponds to that symbol, I guess. 1. That's 10. The 1. It just doesn't want me to, to know. Uh, 5. 3. And 6. I, is this an order? I don't think so, because we don't have all the numbers. Um, I bet that has something to do with those totem poles, but I just don't know what just yet. Anything on this side? Somebody's worksheet writing... Um this dunny alphabet made a mistake here I guess wait is that the word that's gen isn't it yeah and then these look like the number symbols but they're very different than what we've seen bef so far that's the number two superimposed on what looks like the number three, but rotate it. And that would be the number four, but rotate it. Because four has the 
thing in the bottom right, the little square, and this one has it in the top right. Don't really know what to make of that. And some fruit. Similar to uh, fruit we saw in the offering bowl, I guess. For the teacher or the students, who knows. But that seems to be all there is to do in the classroom. So we'll continue our exploration of this island in the next video.